PTF and JK back with you with our analysis of this year's Santa Anita Derby, key Kentucky Derby, and really Triple Crown um, prep race action going on this weekend. We're brought to you by our friends over at Free Rain Coffee. JK, uh, sort of a different Santa Anita Derby than many were anticipating. We don't necessarily have the, uh, the A, the B, or the C team Bob Baffert runner in here, and yet he's still got the favorite man who holds all the cards out there in Southern California. What do you think is going to happen in this year's Santa Anita Derby? It's tricky, right? The Santa Anita Derby is such a productive race for uh, the Kentucky Derby, but obviously it has a different feel this year with Bob Baffert's horses not being permitted to run at Churchill Downs. Uh, look, uh, I think uh, what we saw at Arkansas with, with Muth last week in the Arkansas Derby, I think we're going to see similar with Imagination. He just seems like the best horse in here. But the thing about Imagination I like, it's not always what you see with a Bob Baffert type, is if you look through his past performances, he's getting faster and faster and faster and faster. He's improving. It seems like he's learning. And it seems like the Baffert's learning a lot about him to continue to get him to improve like that. A lot of times Baffert's horses, they run fast, they run fast, they run fast, they run fast. And there's not really that improvement you would see with a, you know, like a Suge McGahee type of horse. I think it's very interesting. I like imagination in here. You could try to use your imagination to try to find some other long shots. And I welcome you to do that. My brain just can't see it. Anyone but uh, imagination winning this race. Well, that's an interesting thing to open it up to a comment contest, JK, because I'm with you. I think imagination is the one in here. I think however the pace shakes out, if nobody is aggressive early, Dottori could certainly go to the lead and the horse is talented enough probably to win from there. I could also see him letting other speed go and 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 taking back and getting more of a, of a grindy trip and getting the job done. But as I run this race in my head over and over, I keep seeing um, the same winner in this spot, and that's uh, that's this Baffert runner. So somebody out there, let us know who is the most likely upsetter in this Santa Anita Derby, and go ahead and give us your choice for an exacta two. While we're at it, I'd like to thank a previous comment contest winner, Scott Jarry, for chiming in, giving him giving us his thoughts about uh, fierceness, who is our new consensus number one on our Derby top ten list. There'll be another one of those top 10 lists coming and uh, coming right down the pike. Uh, JK, I'll ask you for a, for a prediction uh, to close out this video, who you think the new number one is going to be. But I do want to give a little bit more of a shout out to our friends over at Free Rain Coffee. They sponsor these videos and we've got a cool promo code with them right now. Money to zero gets you 20% off site wide, whether you're looking for beans or for pods or for grounds or for really cool merchandise. They've got some really nice stuff in that regard as well. Free Rain Coffee, they help you to get up and get after it. So, JK, we'll bring it back to you to close out this video. Uh, I'll ask you to do a little bit of a futuristic thinking. We've got these three videos up right now. I hope folks are going to check them all out. We hope they're going to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notification bell, do all that good stuff. But when our new top 10 video comes out uh, late this weekend or early next week, who do you think is going to be listed at number one? I mean, to me, it, it, it's, it's still going to be fierceness, uh, despite what we see this weekend. I think Sierra Leone probably could run a really fast number and win impressively and, and, and be part of a conversation for who's going to take the lead. Uh, but if anyone else wins, uh, I, I just don't see them running as fast as Fierceness did and, and being able to overtake him in that top spot. For JK, I'm PTF. Thanks to our sponsors over at Free Rain Coffee Company. Thanks to you for chiming in and watching these videos. We're going to be back real soon. May you win all your photos.